okay so this is the cane sofa that I'm going to work on this is at least I think seven to eight years old and as you can see some parts of it like right down there is kind of broken it was broken a little more so I removed this entire design over there just kept the edges and uh, I'm gonna start by first cleaning this and then fold up by painting it okay so then I'm back with my chair I tried uh, cleaning it with a brush and some um, wet towel but I realized it would take too long for this to be cleaned so I decided to wash it instead I googled it it said you can wash cane chair um, as long as it dries quickly which is what I did which practically reduced the time to clean this up to about 15-20 minutes this is all dried up and I'm going to use chalk paint to cover it this is the first coat clearly I will need two I'm using this chalk paint by Emix. Um, it's in the color white silk. It will dry in a matte finish. So I'll come back to you guys after I have finished one coat of this. And this is work in progress. Here's my little one trying to help me. Go on. Paint. And this is the first coat progress so far. Continue. He came to me saying, I thought you needed my help. <laughs> That's enough. So this is how the sofa looks after one coat. It has a pretty distressed kind of a look right now. Um, I tried doing a double coat at one place and I think even with the double coat, it will have a semi distressed look. So I do plan to make one more uh, coat and then I will show you after it looks nice right now also but i think with that one bottle we could only manage one coat okay so here is the foam that i had um stuck together earlier to make the seat for my sofa and here's the fabric that i bought online what i'm going to do is stitch this fabric on this foam neatly on the side over here so that the you know cushion can be used uh, reversibly and then I'll show you how it looks at the end the way I plan to stitch it is just fold it like a you know like a gift like we fold and stitch it on the side over here um, and try and make it as neat as possible and here it is the final look of my sofa after painting it with a chalk paint in folds I've also varnished it and you can hear the rain <laughs> At the back the idea behind keeping it here in the home office is just to take calls while lying down sometimes when we get tired I always wanted like a windowsill which this will kind of work so I can lie down read a book and I've accessorized this sofa with two boho cushions I found online I have to say it was love at first sight with these two so that's it Tell me how it looks.